Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Rebel have reported the face reliability issues as the season goes on due to their design, while the FI have announced a date to review Carlos Sainz's Melbourne penalty. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with the FIA, who set a date to review the penalty Carlos Sainz received at the Australian Grand Prix. Sainz received a 5 second time penalty after spinning round Fernando Alonso in that chaotic restart at the end of the race, which sent Sainz from 4th place all the way down to 12th at the end of the Grand Prix. Now Sainz and Ferrari weren't happy about this, and following the race the team submitted a right of review, and now the FIA set the 18th of April as the date for the review. A document said, The drivers and team representatives are required to report to the stewards for a virtual hearing to be held on the 18th of April 2023 in relation to the petition. Now for me I feel this penalty should be overturned for two reasons. First of all that chaotic restart also saw Pig Gasly move over on teammate Esteban Ocon which put them both in the wall, while Logan Sargent couldn't get it slowed down for turn 1 and took Nick de Vries out. But Gasly and Sargent never got any penalty, so why is it fair that Sainz did? On top of that, because a red flag came out very early on following that chaotic restart, like at Silverstone last year it was decided that the order would be reinstated to how it was before the carnage. So even though Sainz sent Alonso from third to out of the points, Alonso did get his third place back for the final lap of the race. So the restart didn't actually exist, so in my view there was no point in issuing a penalty. But let's move on to Red Bull, who could reportedly have some reliability issues with their car as the season goes on due to its design. As we know the Red Bull car has been dominant this season, with the team winning 3 out of 3 races. But there have been some issues for the team. For example, Max Verstappen missed out on a chance to take pole in Jeddah due to a drive shaft issue, while you often hear him complaining about downshifts in practice sessions. Now according to Racing News 365, the upper side of the floor on the RB19 acts as a cover to some key mechanical elements, including the gearbox housing. It's also been reported the lower section of the RB19 gearbox could be designed to interfere as little as possible with the diffuser channels, the depth enabling Red Bull to increase the width. Now what you could see when Rebel unveiled its car was how tightly packaged it was, with one of the priorities being to have the best performance in fast corners. But as I said earlier, Verstappen has been heard moaning about downshifts, while both he and Sergio Perez had their gearbox replaced at Saudi Arabia. Racing News 365 say, It seems the minimal sizing of the internal elements on the gearbox and of the O-rings can lead to greater stress and wear. This could lead to issues later in the season. While Red Bull hasn't had any credible challenge from rival teams, the race in Saudi Arabia did expose a potential weakness in their car. Both drivers were told to slow down due to mechanical problems, and if faced with the opposition later in the season, when rivals have closed the gap, this could leave them vulnerable when pushing the limits of these parts. So it'll be interesting to see if Red Bull run into issues later on this season, and if they do and teams like Mercedes and Aston Martin keep up their development rate, they could perhaps close up on Red Bull. I mean Aston Martin have got off to a great start this year, and have already said they have a new rear wing coming to Baku to help with straight line speed. Mercedes also seems to have a few things in the pipeline before their major aero package in Imola, with George Russell believing Mercedes recent work in the simulator has been more beneficial than their entire off-season development during the break between seasons. And Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has said the team is working flat out to recover performance during the Easter break. He said, Everyone here at the factories has been super busy and flat out over the last few weeks preparing to return to the track. We're excited for that, and to have all of you cheering us as we race for our next podium, win or championship. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.